Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! Continuing playing as the opponents. And we are choosing the Shadow Deck. The Shadow Deck would fit perfectly with Night Shroud here. Who we're playing as right now. Alright, so after this we we get to play as the King of The King of Games. Now let's see what our hand looks like. Ooh, very promising actually. I send Rama from my hand to the graveyard so I can get one layer of darkness. Then I'll waste no time activating Layer of Darkness. Place one card face down. Then I'll summon another copy. Of, then I'll summon a Ramas from my hand. I probably should have sacrificed, but... Oh well. Magic Cylinder. I'll summon Armageddon Knight. Activate his ability. I'll take Plague Zombie from my deck to the graveyard. Activate its special ability. I'll send one card to the top of my deck, then I'll summon Plague Zombie. Now, I link. Now I'll perform a synchro summoning. Summoning my soldier dog, my blue doggy. Bleep. Now I'm activating Monster Reborn to bring back Rama in attack mode. Then I'll activate his special ability by tributing your by tributing Jaden's fusion monster. I can take one monster start from my deck and add it to my hand and then reshuffle. Then, my Rob Mob will attack. Alright, buddy. And that'll end my turn. Now I get a token. Activate Rama's special ability, sacrificing another fusion monster. So I can get another card from my deck. Now I sacrifice my two monsters in order to summon Diabolos, the Lord of the, the Lair. Mm -hmm. 
Now I get to summon another one thanks, thanks to the special ability from my hand. Now they will attack. I'll end my turn. My cat's right next to me, so he's just purring away. Aren't you, buddy? I summon Lilith. Now I activate her special ability, tributing one monster on my opponent's side of the field. Now I get to select three cards from trap cards from my deck. Then my opponent gets to choose. I start. I activate my Lord. I shot a Lord special ability, allowing me to sacrifice two monsters so I can summon them directly to the field. Now, I will attack. Diabolos Dragon, attack Black Dark Panther, and attack Elemental Hero Neos. And I win this duel. Now I play as the King of Games. I'll play, use his Dark Magician deck. I activate right hand of a magi magician's right hand. Then I'll activate archive. <clears throat> it's allowing me to summon a dark magician, a normal type monster with five or higher level, level five or higher normal type monster. And I summon the dark magician. And now that I have a spellcaster on the field, it'll, my magician's right hand and can nullify any spell cards played against me. Or my monsters. <sighs> I'll end my turn.
I'll summon Defender the Magical Knight. Now he will attack. And my Dark Magician just attacked directly. Yeah, why not? I activate the quick spell, Illusion Magic. By tributing one spellcaster, I can take two copies of the Dark... <clears throat> two copies of the Dark Magician from my deck straight to my hand. Place one card face down. Now, a Dark Magician will attack. I activate Gold Sarcophagus. Then I'll activate my Soul Trap card. Now I could take, take two types of spell cards Dark Magic Attack and a Thousand Knives straight from the deck, straight to my hand. From, from the deck to hand. Now I activate Gold Sarcophagus. This card allows me to choose one card from my deck. Remove it from play and wait two turns. <clears throat> Dark Magician, attack directly. I sacrifice Dark Magician in order to summon Dark Magician Girl. Now I activate my trap card. Now I can bring back, back the Dark Magician I just sacrificed to the field. Now my Dark Magicians, my Magicians will attack. Never seen that monster before. Or that elemental hero, I should say. Probably not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. I activate Magician's left hand. And now, just like my Magician's right hand, and and it'll, ne and it'll make sure a card doesn't work, or, such as the trap card on my opponent's play. Dark Magician, attack. Dark Magician girl, finish the duel. All right, let's see what time, how much time we have left. Okay, that does it. That's all the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Now we can move on to <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. We're going to play as Jack. I think for him, we're going with the Dragon deck. I should actually make a Red Archfiend deck. one card face down then I'll summon Dragon Knight Cal 
Now he will attack. I don't know, I don't want to use this card. I activate my monster special ability. Now I can take one dragon, send it to the graveyard. Second phase. Now I activate my monster special ability. I'll send one blue eyes to the graveyard from my hand. And now I get to send him to the graveyard so I can summon the blue eyes. I activate Twin Tornado. I'll send one card to the graveyard so I can destroy two spell and trap cards on your side of the field. Then I'll summon Paladin and a Fel Guard. This card allows me to take one monster from my deck and equip it onto him. I choose Blue Eyes. Now Palgram will attack, and Blue Eyes will attack directly. I summon Mass Dragon. Now my Paladin will attack. Blue Eyes attacks. And my Mass Dragon will attack. Now I end my turn. I switch my Mass Dragon to defense mode, then my Blue Eyes will attack. I activate Mass Dragon's ability. Now I can take one monster attack points that are lower. Then 1500. And I summon Keeper of the Shrine. Now, I sacrifice Keeper of the Shrine, and when I summon a dragon, he counts as two tributes. Now I can summon Divine Dragon Lord Felgrand. Velgran will attack the face down monster. And if he destroys a monster, I can summon a blue eyes. I'm going to dragon from my, my graveyard back to the field. But it can only work on a monster that's 7 or higher. Level 7 or higher, so. Blue eyes, finish, destroy. <laughs> and now, I'll perform a fusion summoning. By taking two blue eyes, I can automatically summon then blue eyes twin beast twin burst dragon. That ends my turn. Now 
Now, my twin headed blue eyes will attack. My Felgram will attack directly. Alright, that begins. Alright, so three d wins. Now we're going to move on to Yu Gi Oh! 5D, playing as the opponents for 5D. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would, please. And I will see you in the next video. All Night Gamer Guy, out.